Hello everyone and welcome back to Sport, the Tooth and Claw edition. And we are here with the Leopoli Empire and our little fleet of tiny itty bitty <laughs> dragon ships. I love how these guys are all basically a small species of dragon. And we have been trying to take good, good care of them as we travel into the depths of the space. And we try to discover all sorts of new planets and civilizations. I'm pretty excited because we do have a fight with some mermaids coming on up. The mermaid empire has been basically threatening us. And we're going to have to do something about that pretty soon. I was checking in on our mossy treasure planet where we leave so many of our amazing treasures that we find. I think we have like several tablets. And we've got all sorts of really cool geodes over here. The more you look around, the more you find things like this thing. Look at it. Isn't it so cool? Oh my gosh. I think it's like the emerald or something like that, but we've got that put down. We keep a whole bunch of really cool treasures on this planet. And as long as we don't put a colony on it, then the treasure should stay there too. So, oh, I should probably rename it like Mossy Treasure Planet, shouldn't I? Okay, let's get down here and rename it real quick. Rename, rename planet. Uh, I think it has to be like rename planet all in one. Uh, mossy Treasure. Did that work? Ah, dang it. Rename, oops, rename. Name, rename, planet, Mossy Treasure. Yeah, now it's going to be the Mossy Treasure planet, and I know exactly where to find it. Not Balbia, it's Mossy Treasure. There we go. The best kind of treasure, it's Mossy. All right, and then let's see, we've got a little colony over here. I think this is actually like our little space colony. If I, or our little like ocean empire, uh, like island colony, if I remember correctly. So let's come down and check. No, that isn't, this isn't the right one. This is, this is more like a thorn forest than anything. So, all right, you guys keep up the hard work. I'm going to go poke at some mermaids. We're going to unfortunately not be able to save planet Quartok, which is on the other side. Oh, it's so far away. It's just, wait, 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 it's this close? Oh, wait, yeah. The war of spoonification has begun! Die, unbeliever! So the mermaids have, have begun fighting! That means loot! That means treasure that we are going to be able to collect! So let's go over and we're going to start picking a fight with the mermaids pretty soon. There's so many things to poke at! I don't remember which one of these is actually the way home. I should probably check that too. Oh my goodness, there's so much to look at! Alright, alright, we'll be looking at everything pretty soon. This, I think, is actually the planet that we have. Yeah, this is it. This is our little island planet. It's kind of like our island paradise planet where the rich Leopoli, um, probably like the rich Leopoli heirs, the matriarchs, get to come and spend their days on hunts with barbecue sauce, chasing down all of the yummy animals. Where on earth has... yeah, there's our little colony. So the little colony is over here and we actually have it set up so it's sort of like a little beach colony because it has the beach shops and I think that's adorable. Yeah, look at it. Isn't it so cool? We've got like the little beach clothes shops that uh, I think the Mermaid Empire, one of the, the local empires had these and I was so tickled pink by them that I really wanted to get it. All right, let's see. Empire collapse, uh, transmission from our colony, pirates, no big deal. All right. And let's see, hostile UFOs are stealing stuff. Okay, well, they're on the other side, so we're not going to be able to get them. They're in a whole nother arm. See, a whole nother arm of the galaxy. So they're way over here. We're just going to focus on this because we have a war to fight. And any hot-blooded Leopoli loves fighting wars. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's see what we can get done over here. All right, let's go ahead and throw up our shield. Uh, do I even need to call a raider rally? I don't even think I need to do that. Here's a mega bomb. A powerful bomb capable of destroying buildings. Wow, they've got like pools of lava. That's so cool. Are they like lava mermaids? Look at them. Look at them. All right, but we're going to begin by bombing some mermaids. So let's get to this. All right, I think I just dodged some mermaids. And then I'm just going to get right down here. Bonk. There we go. All right, yeah, I hear you. Shoo, shoo. Seriously, get out of here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Well, that was over pretty quickly. We just destroyed their entire colony. Nice. All right. Don't mind me. It wasn't like you guys had a lot here to begin with. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can completely destroy some mermaids. That's the goal for the day. Where are they? Where are they? Was that their only little outpost? Was that it? That couldn't have been their home planet. All right, let's come visit. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, we got stuck on a different star. Let's come over. 
and talk to the little the little dragons. In the name of the Grand Council, we greet our friend Omnipotent. All right, and let's go ahead repair and see if we have anything to trade. They like our blue spice, so they can take that. And how are you doing, little guys? Oh, you guys are so cool. They need a little bit of help over here. Hmm. I'm going to say, since they're a T0 planet, I'm going to say we'll kind of get down here and help them out with their terraforming just a tiny bit, but not because we are the bringers of life and light, the way that our amazing tap dancing slugs, the Finnaw, who we haven't visited in a long time, so I'm tempted to do a few episodes with the Finnaw soon. But, uh, not because we're like the bringers of life the way the Finna are, but because there's nothing to hunt here. And that's just, that's just unacceptably boring. So of course the Leo player are gonna come in, maybe put down some herds of mushrooms or some- mushrooms, oh my gosh, like the beefaloes. Or some gulls. Something, something to be able to hunt and eat. They need something over here. Ooh, the lion fisk. Man, I forgot how we collected so many really cool- the swamp cat, the space caterpillar. We collected a lot of really cool stuff. All right. Uh, what to put down on this planet so we can help them out. Let's do this medium plant. How about this lollipop looking plant? And how about we do this large plant? This one looks pretty cool. Yeah, this looks pretty neat. And you know what? You guys need space cats. Because we're just going to say that we're sharing our adorable space cats. There they go! Look at the little space caterpillar! Yay! Our little space cats are going to be right here too. And anybody else we can put down? I guess the deer cat can go down as well. So we'll just turn this into sort of like a home away from home. And the swamp cat for our kitty cats. There we go. So hopefully they like us as a fact. Yeah, helping our planet plus 45. So they like us because we have introduced cats to their barren planet. And they now have kitty cats to enjoy. Or more kitty cats to take care of. Like scoop our, our cat litter boxes. Maybe that's what we did. We just like kind of forced a whole bunch of our cats upon them and we're like, you are now in charge of their litter boxes. We'll be back to check in on them. All right, I can't save that planet from an eco-disaster, so it's just going to have to deal with it. All right, there's something over here and this is an unclaimed area. And then we're going to have to go hunting for mermaids because I could have sworn the mermaids would show up by now and I could have sworn we were going to be able to get them. All right, where in earth is my little... Ah, there we go trying to remember where all my pieces are. The abduction beam. Something is on this planet. Is it a terraforming tool? Whoop. I'm really excited. <gasps> terraforming tool! This planet is like a perfect blank canvas for tentacle hills, apparently. Woo! Go, little tentacle hills, go! Sweet, we just got a new badge. Awesome. So I guess this is gonna be like the tentacle hill planet. And I guess we'll add in like a tentacle river going that way and tentacle plateaus. All the, the tentacle related items we have, I suppose. I should probably put down the, the coral slug because the coral slug seems like it would fit in perfectly here. Oh dear. What else do I have? The foo cat. I've got a gull. I don't really have a lot of animals. We might go around looking for an animal or two. I think one of these planets actually has some animals. Oh, what's this? More treasure? Don't mind if I do. <gasps> what did I just get? The wonder... The, what's... What's... What? I found a unique planet. It's really pretty. Oh, wow. Why is it a unique planet? I want to know. Alright, I just got some crystal hills, but I don't want to use them. What's unique about this planet? Will it tell me in my little Sporpedia? Uh, Spore Guide... Maybe, maybe, space stage, planets, unique. Why is it, why is it unique? Um, hmm. Huh. Well, it told me in my little, no, not my history, my collections. What about over here? Uh, the rares, the storybook planets, pastry. Is this where the Egyptians learned to make pastries? What? <laughs> is that really what I found? A storybook planet that's called pastries? Why is it called pastries? Well, it's beautiful. I guess I'm going to have to call it. Wow, it's beautiful, actually. Oh, my gosh. Look at the way the claws are just reaching out like gigantic fish hooks from, from these stones over here with the beautiful sun in the background. This is definitely a Leopoldi-approved area. I like it. 
Uh, I like it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I don't want to touch it because it's like a storybook planet. So let's go ahead and smack a colony down on the tentacle planet, I suppose. <laughs> so this is storybook planet. If you guys have any idea, ooh, or maybe even some stories behind why that's a storybook planet, then let me know because I have no idea. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of terraforming before we smack our poor, poor colony down on here. And da, 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 da. There we go. Hot cloud cedar. Whoa! Look at all that ocean. But yeah, actually, if you guys have a story, like a short paragraph story um, for why that's a storybook planet, what I can do is I can copy that. And then I think I mentioned that I want to have my Sims 4 family, the green family, actually write descriptions of the creatures that we run into in Spore and descriptions of the planets and the cultures of the different civilizations and use those as books they write in my Sims 4 series for studying alien species. And it's gonna be really, really cool. So if you come up with something neat to explain, let's see, let's throw that down. <gasps> I don't have a medium plant. Well, that's embarrassing. All right, well, let's go ahead and throw a colony down at least so I don't lose it. Then I'm gonna have to come back with the medium plant from our storybook planet, I guess. Quick transplant. <laughs> And then I, I need to rename it like Tentacle Planet or something. The Wiggly Octopus. Ooh, that's a good name. All right, and let's see if I can find medium plant. Don't mind if I do. I kind of want to study the animals on this planet too. We'll do that in just a second. I meant to chase down, uh, like I really meant to go chase down mermaids and explode, like blow up mermaids, make mermaid sushi. That is totally something the Leo player would do. It's so ruthless. All right, throw this down before everything gets popped out of gear. We go stabilize a little terror score. All right, so let's put down some goals. Because roasted bird is good for the Leo, please. And then let's put down... Hmm, deer cat. I feel like the space caterpillars really love these purple ones. So maybe I should make some like space butterflies that are purple. Like they eat off these plants and turn purple. And then the coral slug. There we go. There we go. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to being able to take all of the discoveries that we make. Oh, that poor planet. All of the discoveries that we make in Spore and kind of bring them to life in The Sims 4 and even get to the point where we can come in and we can like take pictures of how the planets look and make like art that we can put in our Sims 4 world. Maybe I can learn how to make my very first custom content for Sims 4 by making recolors of paintings. That would be really neat. All right, so let's do a little bit of studying and see what's actually down here. Hostile UFOs are attacking things. Well, we'll check that out in just a second. So what are you? The Biolumis. <gasps> wow, it's like part machine. And he looks like he wants to just like smack you. That is so cool. It's like dinosaurs. It's dinosaurs and then like a machine dinosaurs. It's a storybook planet of machine dinosaurs and a really pretty bush. I know that's a little random, but I like this bush. So this is pretty cool. I feel like I need to rename it. Like, um, let's see, rename planet, <laughs> rename planet, uh, kind of like Jurassic, uh, Jurassic touch, Jurassic ash. Jurassic, Jurassic, Jurassic Ash. Why? Because it kind of reminds me with the like ash falling down and then with the dinosaurs of a volcano exploding. Wow, it's really pretty. Wow, I mean, look at that. Was it taken over by these like hostile dinosaur um, machines? The cyborgs, that's the word I'm looking for. And everything was destroyed when the cyborgs the dinosaur cyborgs that somebody thought was a good idea to create began killing it all <gasps> it's seahorses that's perfect oh my gosh you guys those seahorses are totally totally perfect for our little um for our little like sea resort island or sea resort planet we're working on so i guess we'll go check that out in a second all right you guys you guys good luck um i should probably set you up but i'll do that later and then mermaids? Oh, the mermaids have come back! How dare they? That must be their home planet right there. Okay, well, let me go ahead. I'm going to put the seahorse down where I will be able to, like, put it into our beautiful water here. And then we'll go and we'll blast some more mermaids. I feel so bad about some of these, these things I'm just ignoring. All right, 
what's our planet at? Oh, our planet's already full. Oh man, I can't put any, I can't put my little seahorses on here. That's okay. Mm, is there another planet in the system I could put them on? Let's see, there's one. Ooh, that's a pink spice planet. I should probably be working on terraforming that then. It has two pink spice planets. We're pretty darn lucky then. Ramming. Actually has a pretty cool name. All right, where's my energy? Let's just use that real quick. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna blow up some mermaids. <laughs> Making mermaid sushi, I suppose. The Leon Plea are vicious. Don't, don't let anyone ever tell you different. And then next time we'll try to blow up the mermaid's home planet. I don't really like using the planet blaster because it just feels like such a waste of resources that you could use. Um, but we might use some of the other tools. I really, really enjoy it when you can take over a home planet and keep a lot of the cities intact because then you get such a huge boost with uh, how much spice you're able to collect from that planet. All right, come on warmth. Yeah, it's filling in with ocean, sweet. All right, down you go, plants, down you go. Um, This one. Yeah, that one's a really cool one. I like that one, it's one of my favorites. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put down seahorse, little seahorse guy. Too bad I don't have any more little goal guys, though they would have been cool. All right, last of our little, oh, perfect. A forest popped up just in time for the deer guy. And then I think the lion fisk, because it's close, it's in the same system. Oh, the lion fisk died. I could have sworn I had enough herbivores. Uh, seahorse? All right, uh, did I, oh, ah, everything's dead, what? What happened? No! All my little animals died. Oh dear. Well, seahorse, there you go. All right, well, we've got the seahorse and lucky seahorse gets to just live it up, I guess. Um. Yeah, Lucky Seahorse just gets the whole planet to itself for now. <laughs> so he really lucked out. All right, well, we'll continue working on that one. I feel so bad for a little deer cat. That is not the fate I wanted for it at all. And let's go ahead and recharge. This is actually okay for Red Spice, so we'll just unload on that real quick. And let's go do a little bit of fighting, you guys. Let's go see if we can just kind of pummel away the mermaids on that one little planet that they took over again. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here and don't you dare hurt my allies. I mean, this is literally like a pile of lava. Is this seriously that comfortable for you guys? Do you really want to fight over this? All right, get out of here. All right, they don't even have turrets. It's a little bit like shooting fish in a barrel. Not that I really mind. We're the Leo plea. We're ruthless right now. All right, hey you, there you go. All right, well, there goes that planet. Lots more money for us. All right, so next time, I think we'll have to come back and <laughs> they picked a very pretty pink planet though, I will admit that. Next time we'll have to try to take on their home planet, but I don't want to do that quite yet. So hostile UFOs are attacking which planet? Uh, somebody way over there. They're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> but speaking of dealing with it, I do need to make sure we can actually get back home. So I am going to need to figure out which of the, what was that? That was a Death Star. Did you guys see that? That was a Death Star just floating around. What? Okay, I am gonna need to figure out which one of these will take us home and hopefully figure out a way to rename it. So there's somebody new here showing up in this system. Um, let's come meet them. Whoa. All right, hi, sir. Curious DNA structure. Are you able to speak? Uh, behold, I am from the great and mighty planet Neothistan. Who besides you say you are so great? All of my tiny, adorable dragons. That's who. I'm not as small as you think, but let's continue. Ooh, there we go. Hey, hey. Take my spice. Yeah, 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 that's right. It's the best pink spice you can find for barbecue sauce. And let's see... What do they sell? Anything that I really want? Hey, hey, patience. Um, bio stabilizers are always kind of useful. Let's see, colony and credit packs. I have spent a couple of colony and credit packs, so let's grab those. Maybe a few spice storages. I really I have a lot of money right now. <laughs> Uber turrets would be awesome, actually. I wouldn't mind getting some more Uber turrets. I might hold off just now, because I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Not sure if I need to get an uber turret just yet, but we'll hold off on that. But apparently they're they're doing okay and they have some treasure. Let's see if it's treasure, in which case I'll probably leave it because it's not worth picking a fight over. <gasps> Ooh, I like your trees. Okay, I'm just going to casually take a few trees here. Don't mind me. It's like a beautiful little auto planet. Look, they have little death stars. <laughs> Their ships are death stars, you guys. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, and you've got some things down here. Okay. Um, even the Leopoli might kind of take pause at eating that, whatever that is. I do love your palm trees, though. And is that a dragon? Come to me, little dragon. Let's figure out what you are. And what is it? Let's see if it's going to pop up over here for us. Maybe. Oh, wow, it's cute. I want another one. <gasps> what? What? You're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Cloud Temple Sphinx. That's awesome. I'm in love with it. Yeah, I'm glad we snagged that. Okay, so that's going to be one of my new favorite carnivores. That's almost re worth returning to the home system so we can put it over at our little bio reserves. I'm going to take the whole family. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Mm -hmm, a few of these trees too. Did I miss one? Don't worry. You can come with the rest of the family. Oh, you're not one of them. Yeah, you're a good land whale. <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. All right. Well, little death stars flying around. Beautiful autumn colored planet. We discovered quite a few things and oh, I didn't even find the treasure. Okay, let's go back down and see if I can find the little treasure. Do I have my radar turned on? I sure do. And I hope it's actually a... I don't want treasure. I want a terraforming tool. What? Is it really treasure? Oh no, it's a terraforming tool. Yes! All right, what is it? And it is a chocolate swirl pond. And what is this? <gasps> the hiding away. Oh my gosh, they look so cool. And what are you guys? We're finding all sorts of neat little things down here. Another little plant and the diamond egg. I want all of them. I want all of them. Oh my gosh, these are cool. Oh, it's more of these guys. I probably don't need this many. That's okay, I'm gonna take all of them anyway. Oh, yeah. oh, it's our little deer. <gasps> they have deer cats. Okay, I like them. We might try to make friends with these guys. But all right, we're going to possibly befriend this, this, these guys because I really like their planet. It's actually very pretty. And then we will try to go make some mermaid sushi and just take care of our little burgeoning, <sighs> our burgeoning section of our empire over here next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.